Public Savings Cooking School. I'm Chef Willie. And I'm Chef Kara, and we're here celebrating Hanover Tomato Month. Join us here every Thursday in July as we prepare recipes featuring Hanover tomatoes. And you can find these recipes and more in the Hanover Tomato Recipe Booklet at your local Publix. Welcome to another episode of Tomato Thursday. I'm Chef Willie here at Publix Aprons Cooking School. And I will be cooking a flaxseed salmon with a cucumber and Hanover tomato salsa paired with a roasted tomato and garlic. So the first thing I will do for, your, uh, for our dish is a rice. And it is made with basmati rice, a little bit of butter. So first thing you're going to do is turn your pan on to medium. Put your butter in the pan, melt that down. Once it's melted, you'll see it melting down, just melting butter. Now you will add basmati rice. Basmati rice, you will cook that for one minute. You're not getting any color, you're just coating the rice with that butter. Once the butter coats the rice, you will add two cups of water and a garlic herb seasoning. You can pick up at any Publix. So what you're going to do now, once that rice is coated, you're going to go ahead and put that two cups of water in there, bring it to a boil. First, you're going to add that seasoning into there. Stir it in. Let that come to a boil. While you're letting that come to a boil, you're going to prepare the cucumber and Hanover tomato salsa. What you're going to do is grab a bowl, cucumbers, just diced cucumbers. Diced Hanover tomatoes. Chop cilantro. Chopped green onions. That's about two sprigs of onion. And then your favorite hot sauce. You can get any hot sauce. It could be a cayenne pepper sauce, a habanero, whatever kind of spice you would like. All right. And then you have uh, one lime juiced. I'm going to add that into that. And then you're going to stir it until it is completely combined. All right. And this is how it should look when you're done. Set that off to the side, and then you will use this to put on top of your seared salmon when your seared salmon is ready. All right. So now we will prepare the salmon. Get your pan hot, set it on medium high. Once this comes to a boil, you are going to cover it and then move it off to the side so it's out of your way. All right. I'm going to take the salmon. This is fresh salmon, select salmon from Publix. And just get it from your butcher, from our seafood department. They'll cut it the way you want it. Uh, you can get it in four ounces, eight ounces, or you can get the whole side. So the rice has come to a boil. Now you're going to turn it down to simmer and then move it out of your way. Let that cook for about 18 to 20 minutes until it absorbs all the water. And then you can fluff the rice, be nice and fluffy, serve it with your salmon. All right. So for the salmon, we have black seed, panko. That's about a quarter cup of each. 
and then a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix that in there. Stir this up. And then what you're gonna do is get a lemon or two and then squeeze the juice. And then you're gonna sprinkle some over the top of the salmon. So that'll help the flax seed and the panko adhere to the salmon so that it doesn't fall off in your pan. You lose all that coating that you put on there. All right. So you're not gonna coat both sides. You're just gonna do the top, the side that you're gonna sear, which is the presentation side. That's the side that didn't have the skin on it. All right. So since we're serving this salmon without skin, this will be the presentation side. So you're just gonna dip that in there and then coat the salmon just like that. And then continue with the other salmon. All right. Once you get all your salmon coated and your pan nice and warm, you will put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Wipe your hands, get that salmon off of there. A little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. You can use a nonstick pan, you can use a cast iron pan, whatever pan you have, whatever you feel comfortable with cooking with. Just make sure that it's nice and hot and you're able to get a good brown sear on the salmon. Nice crispy salmon, all right? So when we're cooking this, it'll be about, I would say about three to four minutes on each side, just to make sure you get that nice brownness on top and cook it all the way through. You don't want to overcook the salmon because if you overcook it, it'll just start falling apart and then you'll have a bunch of the albumin coming out of it and it will make the presentation not look so well. You just want to make sure you're cooking it at a steady temperature, not too hot, all right? All right, so, well, there you go. Nice and warm. Test it by putting a corner of that in there. It's starting to pop at you. Go ahead and put them down. Once you get the salmon in there, you don't want to flip it or move it right when you get it on there. You want to make sure you're getting a good sear on it. Right? The more you move it, the less you're cooking it. So just make sure you keep going. All right, so now that that's going, I'm gonna call my chef assistant, Kara, to come do the side of roasted tomato with garlic. Thank you, Willie. Now we're gonna get to the star of the show, the roasted tomatoes. So we are gonna quarter these tomatoes. So you're gonna cut it in half, then you cut it into quarters and we'll do all of them. All right, last one. So we need to get all these green parts off because they're not that yummy. So we'll cut all those off. All right, now that we have all of our tomatoes quartered, we are going to put them in our baking dish. Place them in there as tightly as possible because we are gonna sprinkle garlic over them and we want all the garlic in there. So we have our chopped garlic that goes all over the top. You measure garlic and tomatoes with your heart. So as much as you want or as little as you want. And then these go in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Thank you, Chef Kara. These tomatoes look delicious. Now we can start plating our dish. All right, so we'll start by putting a couple in each corner. Make it look pretty. Looks good. All right, then we're gonna chop some basil. So we just need to stack all the leaves. So we're gonna roll it up and then finally chop it. Very thin, what are you doing? Chiffonade, oh, Jeff. Beautiful. Those look yes. great. Yes. Tiny little ribbons. <laughs> so we're going to 
substitute it with a couple of those. Ooh, that was a lot. And some feta cheese. Mm. Yummy, yum. I love feta cheese. Feta is delicious. More? Less? More. More. Measure with your heart. All right. <laughs> now for the good stuff. All right. So now that basmati rice that I made earlier is going to go right in the middle. So this is a nice garnish plate or nice plate for the family. Just get it right down the middle. And then we're going to place those beautiful flax seared flax seed salmon right over the top of this rice. So you're going to take these nice seared salmon, put it right over the top. This is good for a family of four or or us or us depends. <laughs> and then take this cucumber and Hanover tomato salsa that we made earlier, put it over the top. Ooh. Nice fresh and delicious salad uh, salsa to go over the top. Complements it well, and these Hanover tomatoes are really sweet. This plate looks delicious. Don't forget to join us next week for Tomato Thursday. To participate in an upcoming class, visit public.com slash cooking schools.